If you've lost faith in humanity, clap your hands. If you've lost faith in humanity, and this is your villain origin story, if you've lost faith in humanity, clap your hands. <coughs> Look, they crying because they don't get food stamps anymore. Go work, you lazy bums. Go get a job. Look, everybody crying. <laughs> they cut my food stamps. No more food stamps. Go work. Go work. It's crazy how you see the bass crying about this. The truth is that he is supposed to win. Like, he needs to stop this delusion. Hope your day gets better. Positive energy. Cry some more, like, cry some more. I dare you to tell me to calm down right now. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god! America, how could you do this to us again? What the fuck? How are we supposed to live another four years like this? What the hell? What did you do to us? I don't know if I feel joy seeing more pets like this cry or I just feel like he is stupid. Okay, so listen, I'm gonna let y'all know this right now, okay? So you know trumpets like Y'all won, I, I know y'all happy, whatever the fuck. Ain't nobody acting like bitter losers. However, y'all need to leave me the fuck alone. Because I got one more fucking cigarette in me before I start lighting your asses up. I, And that's where to the United States of motherfucking America. Yeah, yeah. Seeing celebrities like this talking about America in this kind of way, like, it's, it's scary because what are you teaching your friends? Like, what message are you passing out there? <coughs> Harris did not win. He won. Trump. <laughs> so, we're, I'm. Take a breath. Yep. So today may look a little different at school. Okay, there are probably going to be friends who have questions, right? Um, I'm sure your teachers are going to... I genuinely do want to urge people with ovaries and uteruses and women and anyone assigned female at birth to not look at men, not talk to men, not entertain men, not look for validation in men, not center their world and their being and their appearance and their thoughts um, around men and look for, for men and up to men on what they should think and what they should decide because it's clear that they've never seen us as anything but procreation machines and pleasure objects and dolls. Question. So does anybody know how to find or hire a hitman or woman? Because um, we don't want to be sexist. So, but I think we could pull this off collectively. If you want to chip in DM. I beg your pardon. I'm so glad you guys got your cheap ass groceries and your cheap ass fucking gas. Because you're fucking broke as shit. You're fucking broke. You're fucking broke. Okay. I don't care what country you're from, this shit is hilarious, bruv. This shit is so funny. And these woke muppets, I've got no patience for them, so it's brilliant to see them melt down. Thank you so much. We love you so much. I don't love you. But we love you. I don't love you. I hope God helps you. I do you. not want your love. I want you to I want you to find yourself in a Princess Diana car accident. Really? But why? We love you. Yeah, we we might. It's personal now. I'm coming for every single straight man in my family. Hi. <laughs> Y'all fucked around and found out.
and now this is going to happen. You're welcome. So I am absolutely, now I'm sure, now I'm positive that the yearly hunting trip that y'all have been having, that my father hosts, that, that my uncle goes on, that my uncles, my, my, my brother, my cousins that are like my brothers, their friends that have all known me my entire life, that cl claim to love and respect me have been having a yearly claim to love and respect women in general but obviously that's bullshit i'm gonna be honest i was very blindsided by the results this morning um i've decided that cigarettes don't count today and i honestly might go get a tattoo but i also have decided that for the next four years i am going to abstain from schmecks with men and funny enough i actually just broke up with my boyfriend a handful of days before the election. So I highly encourage any other women that are single. I hate when I see delusional people trying to kill that delusion online. Like, you clearly have a problem, a mental problem. Don't come online trying to feed other people your mental problem. Like, you need to go to the therapist, you need to go to the psychiatric home. Like, you don't belong online. Like, I don't really know who gets these people phones and they start shooting themselves. Like. Donald Trump has 267 electoral votes. 267. You remember that plan that we came up when we was on vacation um, in uh, uh, at our Memorial Day? She was like, yeah, I do. I said, it's time to put that plan into action. So the plan is children. Victoria, B.C. I looked it up the first time he went office. Victoria, B.C., they are one of the best places for black people to go. They are one of the warmest places in Canada, and it's not too far from here for where I, from where I live, at least. No matter what you do, you will never, you will never put out my love. You will never make me give up hope. No matter what you say, no matter what you do, no matter, you will never. Put out my love. Shut up, bitch! We are about to enter a political period that will have consequences for the rest of our lives. We now find ourselves in a time in history that has precedent, and we find ourselves in a time where there are times of fascism and authoritarianism. It's heartbreaking when you see people hating Donald Trump because he's a man or because. Like, they don't really have a tangible reason for hating him. They just feel like, nah, he talks too much. Nah, I, we, we don't want him as a president. But he's the only one that can run it. Like, that's just the truth. Like, let's be honest with ourselves. I really do not like crying on the internet, but I'm not even about to pretend like this some shit that I'm finna be embarrassed about, bro. Like, I ain't never been so f devastated behind an election. And it's just like, when you a black woman surrounded by black men, and they say all this shit like, oh, he's not that bad, and oh, he just hates everyone, bro. Like, it was my, my brother, homeboy, I was talking to the other day, a black man, and I found out that he's a Trump supporter. I'm like, he does not like you. And he was like, oh, no, he just don't like everybody. What? So that's a good candidate for you? Someone who just fucking hates everybody? Like, what? And I'm fucking crying in my room this morning. My brother gonna come up in here and say, what's wrong with you? Like, he can't think of one possible reason why I would be upset right now, bro. Black women, you don't owe this country shit. You don't owe this country one fucking thing, not one fucking thing else. It's time for us to bunker down. I will not ask you to look for any silver linings. I will not ask you to feel anything but grief right now. Donald Trump won the election and the consequences will be real and devastating. But I'm reminding myself and you that on the road ahead, there will still be opportunities to fight back. I just texted my best friend, my best friend of 14 years, and I asked them who they voted for. They said Donald Trump. Ah! I just don't understand why we can't have a female president. Like, why not? 
like how much more qualified and intelligent and like perfect for the position do we have to be i will make it my life's mission my dying wish that none of you weirdos can hide in the future you can't lie to your kids you can't lie to your grandkids about oh it was it was so confusing it was hard to see the truth that he was so convincing i will not let you get away with that <laughs> like that was not normal this is not normal i will make it clear to everyone like i will make sure no one is confused about how things were right now in this very vital crucial time in american history that it was not confusing it was not confusing at all you just stood for that you stood with that and for that like i i can't emphasize enough there will be nowhere to hide oh 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 shiver my timbers shut up man shut up she's saying she won't let you get away with that what can she do in the first place like nothing i believe people are able to sh people should be able to pass on their opinions but like she talking like this is more than she personal opinion i believe she's just trying to be delusional um you know how everyone says that election day should be a national holiday i agree i think the day after should also be a national holiday because like what do you mean two already I have lost two friends today because of this election. Guys, we literally don't even have to panic. We literally don't even have to freak out right now. We don't even have to fucking, like, we don't have to freak out. We don't have to freak out because it's not even real. Because, bitch, freak out the vote! I can't believe Trump's actually gonna win this fucking day! Oh, Jesus Christ! I'm so pissed off! Ugh. Brother, ugh. Trump is president, and I think all women should stop having sex for the next four years. All I can say is how fucking dare you. How dare you put this man into office for another four years. No Tell me how I literally went into today genuinely thinking I was going to witness history. Like, I really, really thought I was going to witness a woman of color become president of the United States. That was fucking stupid of me. You guys just don't get it. And you have the privilege of not getting it. And that's great for you. I'm so happy for you, but I'm gonna... <sighs> How did we get here? How did we get here? What in the Alice in Wonderland nightmares is going on right now? How the fuck are we back in this same situation again? Who the fuck is voting for him? Genuine- A lot of people did vote for Trump. People who have a clear mind. People who are not always on their phone crying and searching for pity or like acknowledgement online. Like people who know and understand what America needs voted for the right candidate. It's just so awesome <laughs> how much this country hates women. <laughs> it's so awesome. It's really awesome. Like how awesome would it be to live in a country that like doesn't hate women? That'd be so cool, right? <laughs> Four years of a majority Senate, of a majority House, most likely 7-2 Supreme Court, a red president. Anyway, just connecting with nature because no matter who the president is, the trees will never change. I'm not going to class today because I know, I know who I am. Trust me, I know who I am. I literally know who I am. If I go to class today, I will yell at someone. I will get in a fight because I know who I am. You saw me in that Jubilee video. I know who I am. If I go to class today, I will get in a fight. So I'm staying in my room and I'm processing everything. I'm not an election denier, so I know that Trump won. Seven in the morning. I've been up for a good two hours now. Everyone that I know is asleep. I'm just going on a walk in my pajamas, in my slippers, in my pajamas and my slippers because I just needed a moment to myself. Um, I we may not have rights tomorrow. Yeah.
I'm scared to go to sleep. I might wake up a motherfucking sleigh. <laughs> what? Bro, what are you talking about, man? I just got home from working the night shift and crying in my car the way home and screaming in my car because sometimes you just need to scream at the top of your lungs, especially in moments like this. But um, I don't know. I'm just still in. Hi, buddy. My cat's my emotional support right now. All I have to say is good luck getting laid. <laughs> um, Especially in Florida because... Me and my girlies are participating in the 4B movement. That's my next plan. And I'm dead fucking serious. No one's looking for a moped like this to lay down with. Like, people who don't realize the situation of America and what America actually needs. Like, it's funny when you see some people saying don't vote for Kamala Harris and really have no reason. But, like, thank God we all know who won and thank God Trump won. Like, it's, it's amazing. Like, I believe America will be blessed again.